just your thought on what makes a good leader and whether it's vocally, whether it's, you know, by example. Honestly, that's funny. I want to uh, read a quote that I have for you. It says, leadership is about empathy. Having the ability to connect with people for the purpose of empowering and inspiring their lives. And I feel like, um, I like that. I like that. That's from Oprah. And it's crazy to ask me about that. But yeah, it's... it's really trying to do the right thing, trying to inspire others. And what is it about, you know, just your mentality? Go my shoulder, it's okay. Your chemical makeup makes you want to be that leader here and, and beyond, because you do a lot of things outside the locker room as well. Honestly, I don't even think about it from that perspective. Um, I just, I've said it before, like, I, I pray at night and I ask God to use me for whatever his purpose is. And, you know, this year preparing for this season, I was so focused on ball and, um, you know, not, any, not anything else outside of that. And then, you know, things come up and things happen, and uh, I feel it on my heart to say something about it. And so, um, you know, I think just sometimes things work out that way. You, you talked about on your on your post, you said, uh, we all can work together, social justice, without disparaging one another. Yeah. I'm sure you're referring to the Jay-Z situation, um, Jay-Z versus Colin Kaepernick. Can you expound on that thought? I think, so yeah, that thought was directed um, just at everyone. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of people just kind of going after each other on social media. And I don't feel like that, that gets us anywhere. You know, if you, you know, say F this guy or F that person, okay, cool, now what? Um, you know, how is that helping this cause? How is this helping this situation? Um, and then, Directly, um, you know, I was speaking to, to Sean Carter and, and the NFL. You know, I felt like he really discredited Colin and myself and the, and the work that's being done uh, in our communities. And I think he could have handled the whole situation differently. You know, if he were to say, you know, I see the work that Colin and these guys have been doing, and I want to partner up with the league to further, um, you know, further that work, it would have been totally different than some of the ways that he answered some of these questions. And so. Yeah, I just felt like I needed to let people know that speaking to each other the way that we have been is, is not helping us get to any solution. We're not solving anything, and we've got to do a better job. So it's not necessarily about the fact that he didn't speak to Colin Kaepernick or yourself before joining that partnership. It was about the fact that his point of view was what next after Neely. Well, I mean, I could go, I mean, I, I can go on a list of, of things that I felt like uh, could have been done in a, in a, you know, or handled in a better fashion, and I really don't want to get into that. But for the most part, what I'm trying to say to people is that let's let's work towards solutions, and let's wait let's wait and see what what goes down from this deal. Um, you can't really tell right now. It doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't sit right with me. I don't think that you know it was handled the right way, but you never know. What, what about it doesn't sit right with you? That's exactly what I was saying. I really don't want to get into it, but yeah, I mean, I think that you know he, he could have reached out to Colin, uh, he could have reached out to me. Um, some of the ways that you know he answered his questions, talking about we're moving past kneeling, like he would, like he ever protested. I never, he's not an NFL player. He's never been on a knee. Um, you know, just choosing to speak for the people, like he had spoken to the people. And I think sometimes um, I notice that. I wonder how many common people that he knows or that he's spoken to. Uh, I wonder if he's read, you know, my Facebook comments or my Instagram comments or some of the things that people say to me. To be able to speak on and say that we're we're moving past something, uh, it, it didn't seem very informed. You feel okay, like, you that, feel like that, that, that even more divides me instead of talking about the subject. Right? Which part? Like if you take two sides, like let's say Jay Z say side and what you guys have been doing, do you think people want that? People want that, you know, to divide it. I mean, it. It's it seems like right now, uh, you know, that's what's what's fueling everything is is division. So uh, I don't know, but you know, I wish that it was handled a better way. Kenny, do you feel like it was a little cynical by the NFL partnering with Jay Z? Do you feel like they were it's coming from a good place, or do you think that's PR? I mean, that's. Uh, I think it's hard to say. But, you know, they've done a good job of shifting, um, you know, the, the problem onto Brock Nation and um, Sean Carter's shoulders instead of himself. That's what I, that's what I do, you think, do you think people still view this as a patriotism issue or do they view it as a social justice issue? I mean, I know you know from 
the comments that you get. Yeah, I mean, I think people are both. People think that it's a patriotism issue, and people think that it's a social justice issue, and people think that we don't have an issue in our pro in our country. Um, I mean, go through and read the comments. You know what I'm saying? Like, read. There's like bots, and then there's people that are actually expressing themselves, and read those comments and, and see what people are saying. It's, it's a lot of there's a lot of confusion still out there. It's a lot of people that comment on my page and have never looked at any of the work that I've done or any of the work that Colin's done. Like, do some research before you're just out here like trying to discredit people and put people down. Like, if you want to have a, a constructive conversation, do, do a little research and then let's talk about something. Like, leave your feelings out of it, leave your emotions out of it and come with some, with some factual things and speak civilized and, you know, if you can't agree on something, then agree to disagree and then go your way. What do you think of what Eric said? Exactly what? Despicable, I think, is the word he used. What, what was the context? About Jay-Z becoming part, uh, or the reports that Jay-Z is going to become part owner of an NFL team and joining the partnership with the NFL. Yeah, I mean, that's what Eric said. I don't... I mean, yeah. I'm not asking to speak for Eric. Uh, yeah. yeah, what do I think about his comments about it? I mean, I understand their frustration. I understand his frustration. Um, and... You know, like I said, a lot of me is, you know, a lot of what I'm trying to do is bring people together. So, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to personally go that route, but I understand when people do go that route. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm looking for solutions and I'm, I'm going to try and give this man the benefit of the doubt for now. Um, but it doesn't sit right with me. It's not something that I agree with. It's not something that I, that I respect. Kenny, what would you, what would you say to uh, Jay-Z if you had an opportunity to talk to him? Honestly, um... I, I need some time to think about that. You know, I haven't had that much time. We've been playing and preparing for the season. And, um, you know, it's really important for me to not, you know, be a distraction for this team, but also, um, you know, to, to do the things that I want to do outside of outside of football. So really just focusing on, on this, but uh, something I can think about. Hey, I was going to say, some people would say, don't let it become a distraction. It's never in your mind and your teammates. This hasn't been a distraction. Either. No. Um, you know, as long as I can see to handle my business on the field, you know, everything's fine. And, um, you know, I, I think I've done a good job of that the past couple of years. I thought you were going to talk to at some point. I don't see why not. I thought you would just give him a look.